I have no idea if they work, so I'm taking a gamble on it. But for 24 bucks total, I'll take that gamble. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. And I am at Plaza Thrift, AKA Craptastic Sam's. We're about to head in here and see what kind of goodies they got. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. I had to say that extra pray stuff because yesterday they had a big 50% off sale, which means everything is wiped out. And I don't know if there's gonna be anything in here, but we're about to find out. We got a lot of Lego in the case today. How about anything down here? It uh, doesn't look like it. Let's go check the shelves. Actually, what's this? Fuzz. Hmm, I might check that out. Oh, we got a couple of Game Boys in here too. I'm gonna ask to see those. All right, so we got this guy. Never heard of him before. They only want five bucks for him. And this doesn't have a back. Oh, maybe that's why they're only 12 bucks. I think that's worth getting though for $12, right? I'm gonna get them both. I'm gonna get both of those Game Boy colors. I have no idea if they work, so I'm taking a gamble on it. But for 24 bucks total, I'll take that gamble. All right, let's see what else we can find. Vampirina. Oh, look at this thing down here. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, is there anything in the bags today? Oh, there's a Smurf bag section is really really wiped out lots of colorful dinosaurs there's a pac-man arcade in there too hmm. it's a little swimming pool place set ah it's a swimming pool for dora the explorer it's from 2004. oh look at this look at this big brute all right, guys, I grabbed a couple of uh, Game Boys. How awesome is that? So I uh, got the yellow one and then we got the clear one. And uh, I was looking up prices and surprisingly, like even without a battery cover, they're still selling for like 40, 50 bucks. But I'm gonna have to see if I can score a battery cover on there. Where did I park them up? This white car, I'm always looking for a black one <laughs> until I can't wait to get mine out of the shop. It's, I don't know when it's gonna be. <laughs> they said June 7th and then they pushed it to like June 23rd. So who knows, but anyway, we got a, uh, we got a toy tripping trip coming up. I'm going to Pennsylvania to see my parents here in just a few days and we're gonna be spending about a week there. So uh, you'll get to meet my family, my family. You've met most of Nicole's family, but you get to meet my family and my mom. We'll probably hit up some, uh, my mom and dad, but we'll probably hit up some uh, flea markets, some thrift stores. I don't know, maybe we'll try and take in a yard sale or two. That'd be cool. But anyway, guys, uh, up next, let's head on over to support your troops and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, we are at Support Your Troops. This is a, this is a, it's a good place. It's a, it's hit and miss. Uh, I'd say 30% of the time, I probably find some stuff in here. Unlike some of these stores where it seems like it's 100% of the time, I find nothing. But last time I was here, I scored some vintage crash test dummy plushes from the early 90s pretty sweet let's see if they got anything else any other vintage goodies oh here's an old speak and say it's got the turkey on it oh, look at this old uh well, i don't know if it's old but my mom had a pin cushion like that i think she still does actually and we got some oh, good morning. hey good morning Oh, it's a Skylander. We got some dream catchers. Look at these. Okay, see, here's 
with medium scope rings. Oh, there's a lot of them actually. Is this a puzzle? Yeah, 100 piece turtle puzzle. Nothing in there. Oh man, this frog got his head squished. <laughs> we'll save him. Oh, he's all, oh, he's actually someone, man, someone really went to great lengths. They actually, uh, all right, dude, you're still, well, maybe he goes with the set. Oh, I bet he goes with this play set. Well, I don't know, maybe not. Anyway, I'm tired of messing with him. There's a Shamu. I had a Shamu plush when I was a kid. Well, that was a bust, but that's okay. Because we got a few more thrift stores to hit up. I always like going in there. It's very nice. It's a uh, tranquil Pam, the lady that works here. She's super nice. That lady, for those of you that are new to the channel, sometimes when I find stuff, like a couple of times I found some items that were like a dollar and she's like, I pull out my card and she goes, do you have, do you have any cash? And I was like, no, I don't have any cash. She's like, just take it and then bring me some cash next time you're back. And then I always will bring back in a few days, I'll bring back a dollar and say, Hey Pam, here's that dollar. I owe you. She's like, Oh, you didn't have to do that. And I'm like, so obviously, I mean, she does stuff like that for people, you know, cause she told me she was like, to run your card, they charge us a fee and like for the dollar and the fee and the taxes and all that stuff, it's, she's like, it's best, you know, to not even use the card, you know? So anyway, uh, let's uh, round the corner over here and uh, see what St. Vinnie de Paul has got for us. All right, gang, we're at St. Vinnie's. St. Vinnie de Paul. All right, let's see if we got some goodies in here and a mini in there. Check out these mugs. Yeah, those are kind of neat. I haven't really found anything here in a long time. Oh yeah, got the little, the little car right there. Oh, it's kind of fun. All right. The box on the left. What is that? Oh, yeah. It's like a little wooden train. Calico Kids. Looks like an old puzzle. Yeah, actually, a couple of them here. Little people pop out tray puzzle. Oh, we got some Veggie Tales. Yeah, these look older. And this is like a, a monk. Shout out to Anderson. What's this one here? Dragon, Dragon Tales. Dora the Explorer. Octopus. <laughs> Make for a cool timber 
for a GI Joe. Well, maybe not. You'd need to have maybe like a, a four and a half inch figure to really, for that to be scale. All right, another bust in the books. Let's go check out the thrift store. Okie dokie, hokey pokies. We at the thrift store. So we'll head in here, we'll check the glass case, we'll check the bags, we'll check the shelves, we'll check the whole damn place. Let's see if we can score something. Give me a little vintage jazz today. I'm already jazzed up over the Game Boys, believe it or not. Like, I know I wasn't all doing my jazz dance, but like, the only thing that really prevented me from doing the jazz dance is like, whether or not they actually work. <laughs> right now I'm taking a gamble on them. So, I'll get them home and pop some batteries in them and see if they fire up. Looks like we got some comic books or something here. This guy's still here. Oh, looks like they marked them down to $6.99. Maybe I'll pick them up for that price. Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab him. All right, now it's time to see if we got anything in the bags. Look at this guy. There's another Smurf, the Farmer Smurf. There's a donkey. That thing looks old. There's a Pirates of the Caribbean. A little rubber ball in there. There's a few rubber balls. Hey, look at this hot dog. This guy right here, he be hot dogging and grandstanding. We got this minion like in a some sort of basket. We got a, some dinos and like a griffin or something like that. And we got some more dinos here. Oh, these guys got squishy bodies. They're not that hard plastic. Well, this lady right here, she just does. Uh, this employee she just put a bunch of bags right here so let's see if there's anything good looks like a giant giant lego soldier Looks like there's nothing in here. Just a bunch of junk. Well, I don't really see a whole lot on the shelves. I'm just kind of scanning them. And it doesn't appear to be anything significant. All right, well, let's go get this young Frankenstein figure. And who is this guy? Looks like he's got a little bit of articulation. Not a whole lot, but some. Clap for the Lord. Some sort of flying serpent. He's actually got kind of a squishy head and body. All right, gang, we got our haul. I actually ended up getting that bag with the serpents. So let's jump in the car and do a little show and tell. All right, first up, I got these serpent guys, these flying serpents. I thought they were cool. Their eyes are actually like made out of like a, like a plastic or to give it like a glassy look, you know? They're gonna need a little cleaning them up, cleaning up, they're a little dusty, but uh, they're bendable. And uh, I just thought they were kind of unique. I've never seen them before. And I have no idea if they're like belong to a particular line or if they were just some random toy that was made. They look older too. I could be wrong, but there's two of them. And uh, I'm digging them. So I got that. And then uh, these little felt dinosaurs were in that bag as well. And the rest of it was just kind of junky stuff. I also picked up... Young Frankenstein.
So they had him at 15 bucks. And I remember seeing this like a week or two ago thinking, my God, that is ridiculous. But for $6.99, I'll take him. That's like half off. And uh, he'll go good next to my monster collection with my Frankensteins and other monstrous things like the werewolf and dracula and the mummy and all that good stuff so yeah he'll look good on the shelf off to the goody wheel to see what kind of goodies they got all right we are at the goody wheel baby what you got for me today goody wheel what you got for me today hopefully you got some vintage toys on there so let's head in here and see if we can get some jazz rolling well, there's a lot of stuff in the bins. The question now is, is there any stuff for us? These things are actually worth some money, but uh, you know, an interesting thing about these is that Facebook won't let you sell them on Facebook Marketplace because they consider them to be a weapon. I tried, and that was the community violation I got for posting them. But yeah, these things actually sell for some decent money. What's this Spider Man car? Oh, look, we got a Barbie food truck. Look at this little guy. 2018, he's a Christmas ornament. Oh, we got some bowling pins and a ball. I don't know what this is. Oh, we got a ton of Dr. Seuss pencils. Man, they only want a buck 21 for all those. All right, busted again. So let's go hit up one more Goodwill. And then a little later today, I have a chiropractic appointment. So I'm uh, gonna hit up Craptastic Sam's there as well. And probably the Goodwill up there too. But in the meantime, let's go hit up another Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right. Goody Will number two, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? All right, let's see what they got for us today. Oh, I think this is gonna be a quick trip. <laughs> There's nothing in these bins. This Tweety Bird. All right, well, that was a bust, but uh, we got a couple more stores to hit up today. So I gotta go home, do a little work, and then I gotta head to my appointment like around three. So I'll see you over there. It'll be several hours for me, but lickety split for you. <laughs> All right, we're here. We're at the Goody Wheel. The big Goody Wheel. Look at the size of that entryway, man. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? All right, let's head in here and score some vintage toys, y'all. Okay, here we go. We got a red Power Ranger in here, a little Power Ranger mini. Some junk. Who is that? That's not Clark Griswold, is it? I don't know. Maybe you Funko people can tell me. Oh, here's a bag we got. Winston. From the real ghost or from the Ghostbusters. And we got this, um, looks like a Star Wars figure. about anything over here on these shelves. What's this? Oh, 
nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. All right, I'm not really seeing anything, guys. Oh, we've got Raggedy Ann and Andy down there. And I'm not really seeing any cool games either. If I were into Pokemon, I'd probably get that shirt. It's probably worth a lot of money. I could probably resell it for a lot of money or something, but just ain't, just ain't into that today. All right, here we are, last destination of the day. And I feel like we practically spent the whole day thrifting. We hit up, how many stores did we hit up today? One, two, I don't know, like seven? Was this like the seventh one or eighth one or something like that? It's a lot. That's all I know. <laughs> all right. Let's see what we can pull out of here. What do we got in the glass case? I think that's like, is that the wasp? I think. Shazam. There's a mini mouse down there. All right, let's go check the shelves. All right, what do we got? I feel like this guy's been here for a while. Alright, I ain't... That's kind of a neat tin box. Sticky though. It's like a... It's like a foot locker, not a foot locker, uh, like a high school locker. Looks like you can maybe put your name up here or something like that. Put a lock on it. What do we got over here? Oh. Little play set. I don't know what play set that is, though. Wow, the bags are picked over. They must have had a sale here, too. Anything here on the shelves? We got a bass boat. What is this thing? Wow, this thing is still here. Nobody's bought that yet. Oh, look at these old Cosby records. Look how young he looked. Holy cow. healing choices. Wow, oh, he's so young. Alright, I think we just found Fisher Price Sesame Street. This is vintage. 100%. $2.49. Yeah, we're going to pick this up. Alright, gang. I am not really a Sesame Street fan. As I've said in the past, I was an electric company kid. That was my show growing up. I watched the electric company. Loved it, but not so much Sesame Street, but this is 100% vintage Sesame Street. Now I have found this playset in its modern form on a couple of occasions. In, uh, I think 2010 is what that modern one is from. But this thing, I don't even see the year on it, but it's definitely, I was looking up the book. Yeah, but it's 100% vintage. Let's check it out. Now, unfortunately, it's only one side of it. So you can see the piece here where it would like connect together the other half of it. 
but still it is an awesome piece and this sucker is heavy man like these uh this is made out of wood look in there we got uh bert and ernie bernie's bottle caps it's got a toy chest there's uh ernie's rubber ducky the pigeon we got a kitchen down here a living area with a record player some plants some books it's hey look it's the count but yeah this thing is like super cool oh my gosh yeah i'm gonna do a little cleaning up of it but i am really stoked about that quite honestly i was beginning to think like this thing didn't even exist <laughs> because like i had found the other version of it so much i was just like man is like the vintage one what would i ever come across and there it is there it is wow that is gonna look great in the bunker i'm gonna put it get a little area put some little figures in it probably won't do sesame street figures because i don't have any but uh i'll find some other other little people to put in there maybe my smurfs <laughs> so hey if you're enjoying watching this content as much as i'm enjoying making it do me a favor smash the like button that helps me out it does help my channel grow also if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button because i got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now starting with this next video i know you're gonna love it